One day, while walking along the shore, Amsam spotted a spiral staircase made of glowing bubbles rising from the water. Curiosity sparked. He stepped onto it, and before he knew it, the staircase gently carried him beneath the waves. But something was different. Amsam realized he could breathe underwater. Not just breathe, he could talk, swim at lightning speed, and even understand sea creatures. All around him, other people were swimming too. It wasn't just a dream. Huh? Humanity had begun living underwater. Cities were built inside clear domes shaped like jellyfish. Roads were replaced by seaweed walkways, and instead of cars, people rode giant seahorses and bubble scooters. Um Sum was fascinated, but soon he noticed something strange. The water around the cities had started growing cloudy. Coral reefs near the edge of the settlement were turning pale. The underwater sensors showed a sharp change in ocean temperature. Something was disturbing the balance of this new world. Not a villain, but nature itself. A series of underwater vents had opened miles away, releasing hot streams. The scientists needed someone fast. Someone who could swim through narrow caves and thick kelp faster than any vehicle. Aumsum volunteered. He put on a small jetpack powered by electric eels and zoomed through the twisting tunnels of the sea floor. Along the way, he met helpful sea creatures. A group of crabs helped him dig new paths. Octopuses showed hidden roots. And a school of fish guided him through strong currents. With their help, Aumsum <laughs> found the perfect spots to install cooling crystal stones natural minerals that could gently lower water temperature. He carefully placed them in the right positions. Soon, the water cleared. Coral regained color, and sea life danced again. The underwater city celebrated with a swirl of glowing bubbles, and Amsum was named the first sea explorer. Hmm.